I mount my gun. The whole idea is my dominant eye should be looking right down the rig, but not at it, but straight down that rig. Bird gets up, and I can't see it, so I'm going to do that, pull the trigger, and I'm going to miss every time. But if I do this instead, then I can keep my face on the stock and hopefully shoot the bird. But not him, or him, or him. So, turn it backwards if you're so inclined. <laughs> Take it off. Do something so that you can see the bird the whole time without lifting your head off the stock. Because we want to deliver more carrots to the dog. Where'd you go? I don't know how they can get so small in a box like that. I don't know if you'll be able to hold up for this, but we're going to try it. Whoa. Here. Whoa. Here. Whoa. Let's just pretend. Whoa. That's real. And he's downwind of it. If it was real, it wouldn't be laying on its back, though, would it? Hmm? I'm the world's worst shooter, even with my patch on my glasses and the thousands of rounds of instruction I've got. So I need all the help I can get. He's on point, and I figured it out because I got high, and I've been watching my dog. The first thing I'm not going to do is walk in on that bird, because I always flush birds. I don't let the dogs flush birds. Because one out of 50 times, it's not a bird, it's a skunk or a porcupine or a rattlesnake. I'm certainly not going to walk in on that bird from right here. Because remember that word I was talking about earlier, H-E-E-L, or whatever you use? He's going to walk in with me on that. We don't want that. That's due to a phenomenon called allelomometric behavior. <laughs> I'll spell it someday. Bird, we know, is in that direction. Dog is on point. Of course, he'd be a little stauncher if it was a real bird and we were outside. I'm going to swing real wide. Pretend I've walked through the display case and I'm way over here now. That keeps him steady. That also cuts off one more escape route for the bird because most birds are going to run most of the time. They're not going to fly because they know when you fly, you die. Except when I'm shooting. Whoa. I'll fly the bird. But before I fly the bird, I'm going to figure out where the sun is. I'm going to figure out which way the bird is probably going to fly, which is going to be towards some sort of shelter, a tree belt, a ridge line, something like that. I'm going, to attack, I'm going to anticipate all those things, walking on the bird with my feet, my body, and my gun ready to shoot in that direction. So the last couple steps are going to be with my gun not in the port arms position, but in sporting cave. Clays, they call it the ready position. Gun, fingers still outside the trigger guard, safety still on. Gun, butt under my armpit. So that when the bird flies, I have one simple move. Bang. Instead of two less simple moves. Fewer variables, the better chance you have of killing a bird. Because what do we want to do? We want to put that bird on the ground for him. Watch out for the sun. The last thing, although it works for me, whenever I need an excuse, even if it's over there, bang, miss. Sun was in my eyes. Or the moon was in my eyes. Or he flew behind the sun. Or he flew out of his scent. Those are all good, by the way. You can write them all down. Bang. Get it. Good boy. Give him a big hand. He did a good job. <laughs> <laughs>